हेलो वेलकम टू माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाटर एंड हेल्थ एंड अंडर दिस वी विल कवर वाटर इट्स यूजेस एंड सोर्सेज ऑफ वाटर सप्लाई दिस लेक्चर इज इन इंग्लिश एंड इफ यू वांट टू स्टडी इन हिंदी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन आई बटन एंड यू विल गेट लिंक ऑफ हिंदी लेक्चर or you can directly visit to my channel my student support system what is water water is inorganic transparent tasteless odorless and nearly colorless chemical substance but is vital for all forms of life even though it provides no calorie or organic nutrients its chemical formula is h2o water is not only a vital environmental factor to all the forms of life but it has also a great role to play in socio economic development of human population safe drinking water is basic element of primary health care water requirement the daily requirement of human body for drinking water have been estimated as about 2 to 3 liters per day this is just for survival but for positive health and improvement of the quality of life a daily supply of 150 to 200 liter per person is considered as an adequate supply to meet the needs for all urban and rural domestic purposes what are the uses of water in our daily life we use water in many types water is very important for human population it has a lot of importance in our life it is used in many ways such as domestic use domestic use of water includes drinking cooking utensil washing cloth washing bathing house cleaning flushing of toilets gardening etc civic use civic use of water includes water for public purposes such as cleaning of streets recreational purposes like swimming pools public fountains and ornamental ponds fire protection and public parks industrial use in industries water is used for fabricating processing washing diluting cooling or transporting a product agricultural use agricultural use of water includes irrigation pesticide and fertilizer application and sustaining livestock power production water power is used for the production of electricity the most common type of hydro electric power plant uses a dam on a river to produce electricity sources of water there are three main sources of water rain water surface water and ground water rain water rain water is the primary source of all the water present on the earth a part of rain sink into the ground to form ground water and part of it runs off to the to form the streams and rivers which flow ultimately into the sea and some of the water in the soil is taken up by the plants and is evaporated by the leaves rain water is the purest form of in the nature physically it is clear bright and sparkling chemically it is very soft water containing only traces of dissolved solids rain water tends to become impure as it passes through the atmosphere it picks up the suspended impurities from the atmosphere such as dust and microorganisms and gases such as 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड अमोनिया नेक्स्ट इज सरफेस वाटर इट इज द मेन सोर्स ऑफ वाटर सप्लाई इन मेनी एरियाज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सरफेस वाटर इंक्लूड्स रिवर टैंक्स लेक्स पॉन्ड्स मैन मेड रिजर्वायर सचेज डेम्स केनाल बावली एंड सी वाटर मैन मेड रिजर्वायर सचेज इम्पाउंडिंग रिजर्वायर अंडरग्राउंड टैंक्स ओवर हेड टैंक्स आर द मेन सोर्स ऑफ वाटर सप्लाई इन अर्बन एरियाज एंड लार्ज डेवलप्ड विलेजेस सी वाटर इज फाउंड इन लार्ज क्वान्टिटी ऑन द अर्थ बट इट इज नॉट पोर्टेबल Its salt content is very high. Desalting and demineralizing process involves heavy expenditure. Ground water. Ground water is the cheapest and most practical means of providing water to small community. Ground water is superior to the surface water because it has less impurities. Ground water is less polluted. and it is not exposed to human or animal or contamination it is fit for drinking as it is a source of fresh water it is used for irrigation with the help of tube wells it can be used throughout the year even in dry season when most of the surface water gets evaporated ground water has high mineral content such as calcium and magnesium which render the water hard it requires pumping or some arrangement to lift the water the usual ground water sources are wells and springs wells have been classified into shallow wells and deep wells dug wells and tube wells even today wells are an important source of water supply in many community especially in rural areas Technically wells are of two kinds shallow well and deep wells Shallow wells are less deep and receive only subsoil water means the water from above the first impervious layer in the ground they yield limited quantities of water and the water may be polluted due to surrounding condition of the land Most of the wells in India are of shallow type. Shallow wells are liable to pollution from neighboring sources of contamination such as latrines, urinals, drains, cesspools, soakage pits, etc. Deep wells are deeper than shallow wells. Deep wells receive water from water bearing stratum below first impervious layer. in the ground deep wells provide the safest water sanitary well sometime you may find a short note in your exam that sanitary well so a sanitary well is one which is properly located well constructed and protected against contamination and provide continuous supply of safe water and clean water now characteristics of sanitary well to whom to which well you will say that it is sanitary so there are certain characteristics such as a sanitary well should be located not less than uh, 50 feet away from likely source of contamination means it should be more than 15 meter away the well should be located at higher elevation with respect to the possible source of surrounding contamination the lining of the well should be built with bricks or stones and set in cement up to a depth of at least 6 meter so that water enters from the bottom and not from the sides of the well the lining should be carried 2 to 3 feet above the ground level with parapet of the wall parapet wall there should be a cement concrete platform around the well extending at least 1 meter in all directions the platform should have gentle slope 
outwards towards a drain built along its edges. The top of the wall well should be closed by a cement concrete cover. Then tap water. Tap water or piped water supply is the main source of water supply in urban areas and some large villages. It is safest water supply as it is from a covered reservoir of a water treatment plant. Thank you students for today's class. In next class, we will discuss about other uh, health related aspects of water. You can subscribe the channel so that you can get latest notification of updates and latest videos. You can like Facebook page and for making your notes, visit my blogger mynursingstudents.blogspot.com You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.